All right, let's take this assignments table out of this project planning page that we've got in our loop uh, application and add a column first. So watch how easy this is to be able to add a person column. So we can add a column here, we can change the column type and we're gonna change it to person. This way, I can now assign these rows of data and assign this to certain people. So let's uh, assign this one to Nesta. We'll assign this next one to Alex, and then we'll assign this third one uh, to Megan. And you can notice here that Nesta doesn't have access. So what we can quickly and easily do here is by clicking Nesta's name, we can share and notify um, not just him, but anyone else that I've added in that table um, that do not have access. Now, let's now, um, I want them to be able to work on that particular component just in isolation, all right? So on in this table, as soon as I click these six little dots up here, I can create a loop component just of this assignments table. Then that allows me to copy this and I can take this to any other endpoint. So for example, a Microsoft Teams chat, an email message or anything like that. So if we copy that and I jump across into Teams and then I can start a inside of a, a, a conversation or a group chat with those people, I can then in the compose box, hit the paste button. And then what we can then do is we can see that just that component and it's just that table that has come out of the project planning uh, loop page in the loop application. So I can hit send and now we can all uh, seamlessly inter interact with just that assignments table.